Hey everyone, Dev here and welcome to a Medieval Overview. What's funny is that the devs say it's a retro FPS, which it isn't, it's not a shooter, because <laughs> the trailer clearly shows the RPG or like action-y combat mechanics. I don't know where they got from that. Also, everything is first person in VR, so there's nothing special about it. But good for you for making a try. <laughs> so Amid Evil is a retro action game where we've been branded as a heretic and now chosen by the champion of whoever we have to reclaim the weapons and... What? <laughs> there's no story and no explanation. Like. What's happening? <laughs> Apparently it's something that was rebuilt for VR and it really shows because the gameplay is so chaotic and dynamic that it's hard to keep up with it and I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good translation. It sort of feels like Doom but with magical stuff going on based on all of those retro and pixelated art styles. Here however it was somewhat redefined like it's more like an ambience rather just some squares put on on the environments and make everything low poly on purpose. This would seem something around my preferences in terms of gameplay, though I'm not necessarily sure if even I will be able to understand it because even watching the trailer I feel overwhelmed. I think the closest comparison will be Stones of Harlaf, but even then that wasn't made on a scale like that so we'll see how that's gonna go. It's definitely something relatively fresh for the store which I appreciate. It might be shooting big in terms of the comfortability and thinking that people will be able to handle it. So let's just hope it's gonna start slow with us here. Let's go to the gameplay. Okay. It came from the age beyond the ages. Um <laughs> I hit the seated mode, whatever. We were minute among a myriad vast ones, right amid a myriad dark ones. It's interesting start, that's for sure. Outver is like retro retro. <laughs> so we can choose Hearts of Evil, well it's coming soon. <laughs> and the main campaign, okay, well that's the only thing now. <laughs> Okay. Even the background is pixelated. Yeah, I mean the movement is fast. But it's fine for now. Did we learn how to jump? I mean, I have a button. <laughs> what the? There's no double jump and... Okay, well... A lot of portals. Did 
they're just coming at me. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily my style. I don't understand why my axe disappears. Like it has a durability or something. Maybe the circle indicates that, but that's kind of annoying. From these sacred waters, the azure orb was formed. I mean, I'm not from a generation of, you know... Quake time, so... It's not like I'm well versed in that genre. But it has its own flair. <laughs> I think that's energy or mana. The reflecting isn't smooth either, like, you have to either hit it early or... It doesn't connect, I don't know. I guess it has to be directly on the axe. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, the axe disappearing is annoying. Maybe only to me, but... So, I don't think that was the path. Or maybe there's another way? It's like I have to stop sometimes to... Know what's going on. <laughs> Oh yeah. Is this like a rage or something? Well, definitely. <laughs> Shit. So what now? <laughs> Oh, 
And there's a key as well here. I think I would prefer wrench weaponry here. But though my mana won't deplete, but there is a lot laying around. Interesting. <laughs> so I guess we go here. Okay, I see. I guess that was just to get the weapon. I know. <laughs> I like that there's a sound effect. If someone's coming or not, that helps me.
Uh huh. So that was it. <laughs> I mean, we'll play more, but so far it's fine. It's really not my style. It's definitely something very unique for the store, like... That I can see. And it's like... Trapped in a... Time capsule. Like stuff is disappearing for no reason, I feel like. I think I'm done. It's like not for me. <laughs> it's definitely like a unique concept though. The VR is just here. There's nothing really besides the movement and the combat. That's it. Like if you're into those stuff then you're definitely gonna enjoy this, but I'm not really into it, which is fine, like I don't need to get everything. <laughs> Some weapons disappear over time, some like this, it's like you look in another direction but you swing outside, so does it matter really? <laughs> like, it's very fast paced, you have to be very well aware of your locomotion preferences. But overall, I mean, it's decent. I wish there would be more stuff going on in terms of VR actually, but it is what it is. It's a port, not something that was like made for this technology. So as it is, it's like yet another title of the store for me. 